What's up everybody? David Shepard here, back with another video on the Humble Hot Shot channel. And today we're hauling two cars on my little humble 25 foot trailer. So we're gonna talk about that in just a minute. But first, I wanna share a word of scripture with you guys. So today I've got Luke chapter one, verse 38. And this is when um, an angel, an angel of the Lord appeared to Mary um, before before Jesus' birth. And this is Mary's response, speaking to that angel of the Lord. Luke 138, she says, Here am I, a servant of the Lord, or the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. And um, obviously Mary was presenting herself for, for the Lord's use in a very special way there, but I think it's a, just an awesome verse to keep in mind that we should um, just every day present ourselves before the Lord and say, Here am I. I am your servant, and let it be with me according to your word. Let me do your will, Lord God. So I uh, just want to encourage you guys and challenge you guys with that today. And um, I'm right I'm right there in the struggle with you guys. That's, that's the inner conflict when we want to do the things we want to do. That's our will. That's my will. And it's oftentimes in contradiction with the Lord's will. So just want to encourage you guys to present yourself every morning and truly... Um, you know, if you pray the Lord's Prayer or something like that, um, truly just mean it and ponder about what it means to say your will be done and not my own. So um, thanks for listening to that, guys. Hope that helps you out. And now let's get right into the load behind me. Again, we're hauling two small cars. Um, this is a personal haul, so don't have to run numbers. These are um, some project cars we got going on. The first one is a... Um, Dodge Neon SRT4, this black one here. So it's a uh, inline four turbocharged uh, motor front wheel drive car. And if you can't tell already, these two are our couple salvage cars. So um, actually this, this one's salvage, this one just someone had a little incident with a guardrail on, on the one side. Um, but we had to get creative in loading these, but as you can see, they were both damaged already. This SRT4 had some pretty good front end damage. And then this is a 2008 Subaru WRX, so turbo all-wheel drive car here. And um, this one is it, not a salvage title, so this one's probably going to get cleaned up, fixed up, uh, and probably be for sale. If you guys are local to Colorado, I don't know if you're interested in just a cheap, fun all-wheel drive car that obviously isn't going to look great, um, maybe keep, keep that in mind. Um, and then the SRT4 here, it did have a front front end hit you could see intercooler radiator all that stuff was hit pretty well um, so not really sure the plan with this it is a really good power plant again it's got that turbocharged 2.4 liter inline four engine with uh, just a front wheel drive transmission with a limited slip front differential so um, not really sure what's gonna come of that this car was over 300 horsepower um, it's got some speed parts on it and stuff so not really sure, but you know, I know these cars are getting harder to find. If, if one of you is interested, uh, this will be a salvage title car. Uh, but again, a lot of good parts. So if you need parts or possibly the whole car, not really sure what I'm going to do with these yet. But um, keep that in mind. If you're local to Colorado, um, hit me up. I'll leave my email in the description. Um, but sorry for that. This is not a for sale ad. What I wanted to talk about was fitting two cars on this trailer. Um, and when i when i purchased this trailer and if you watch my original video on it i did a lot of measuring and a lot of thinking on what how we wanted to do this um fitting both cars and freight and i knew with the weights and the lengths i wanted to stay at um with my older truck that um i wasn't really going to be hauling two cars i didn't expect to be able to to be honest i knew i could put um a really small car like a Cooper Mini or Fiat 500 or something like that up on the stationary deck here and then you can still tilt the rear deck and you could put another um, full-size vehicle back there so I knew you know two really small cars smart cars or something like that would be possible um, and I'm not saying these are full-size cars by any means but two four-door sedans on there we did have to remove the front bumper cover as well as the front bumper beam on the Subaru here and you can see it is I mean these cars were already damaged. I would never treat a customer's car like this, but you can see it is pressed right into the back of the Dodge Neon. And then speaking of the Neon, we have this car, the front bumper. Front bumper was uh, kindly removed by the previous owner and a rock, I believe. So thankful for that. And then 
this uh, hood is actually slipped right underneath the front angles, angle iron on the trailer there. So um, again, the hood was already damaged, so we snuck it as far forward as we could. And then we got that one strapped down. And then of course, because the rear wheels of the Neon were still were on the front of this tilt deck, I did have to use ramps to load the Subaru. And um, I will admit, I don't like ramps. It's the beauty of the tilt deck trailer. I don't like having to strap them down, potentially losing them, bending them. And you know, you just gotta get them lined up perfectly to drive up ramps rather than a tilt deck where you could just drive straight on the trailer. So did have to use ramps to load the Subaru, the second car on. Um, and as you can see, it barely fits on there. We are just past the center line of the wheel. So totally safe, totally legal, only about three feet of overhang. Uh, my buddy helped me load and I asked him to find something for the for some flagging. So we got our flagging back there and we got straps pulling both forward and rear. Um, three car, th excuse me, three straps on each car. That is the legal minimum. So three straps and uh, again, they're just nose together. Um, but it's towing really well. I was afraid it was gonna be a little too heavy in the rear. The Subaru does weigh more than the Neon. Um, but you know, you can see most of the weight of that flat four boxer, which sits way in the front of these cars, is over the axles. And then with the front drive of this car being all the way forward on the trailer, we've got enough tongue weight on the gooseneck to where everything kind of balanced out, praise God, and it has been going great. So not going too far with this one, just staying interstate in Colorado, but we do have to get up over the passes. So we'll be hitting the steep mountain grids with this and um, just want to check all the straps, make sure nothing's moving and um, show you guys how we shoehorned two cars on this trailer that was never really intended to haul to. But um, there you have it with a little effort you could get them on there. And again, these are four doors, I guess. If you had a couple Honda Civics or small two-door coupes, um, they would fit on there no problem as well. So thought you guys might like that. Uh, pretty interesting. And it's a beautiful evening here. We're outside Eagle, Colorado. And um, boy, it's pretty warm. We've been having a strange winter, not a lot of snow. It's been warm. I mean, you can see everything's, it's like mud season, everything's melting. So. Um, Hope you guys enjoy this. Lots of more uh, good content coming out soon. So please follow along. Please like, subscribe, and uh, reach out with my email below if you have any questions at all. God bless each and every one of you. Thank you for watching. And uh, remember to seek the Lord's will. I promise you that's, that's the best life you could live. So praise God. Take care. We'll see you soon.